I know you're standing by with a live report right now, but very quickly, Beaverton schools did just cancel classes for tomorrow. I wanted to bring that to everyone, and we've got the crawl there on the bottom of the screen with the other school closures. So, Carla, let's talk to you now about the uh, Water Bureau problems uh, and what this weather did to our aging water system. Well, Kelly, there was a major water main break here in southeast Portland here today. I'm going to step out of the way and take a look at this big hole behind me here on southeast 20th Avenue. Crews have been out here trying to fill this hole for most of the day here. They're out cleaning the streets right now, but the freezing temperatures are proving to be too much for several old pipes. Check out this piece of the pipe that's laying here on the sidewalk here. It was a gusher coming out of the street and much of the street has been ruptured. As the cold water burst through, we found it tearing apart 25 feet of Powell Boulevard and Southeast 20th Avenue after a 20 inch water main break, bringing water flooding onto the roadway. I couldn't tell you exactly how much water, but it's thousands of gallons per minute. A Portland Water Bureau crew of seven responded right away. Still, it took about an hour to turn the water off. While the cold weather is partially to blame, I checked and listened to this. You're looking at the fifth pipe break Portland Water Bureau crews have dealt with this weekend due to aging pipes. Yes, this pipe was installed in 1931, so it's 83 years old. Here are the facts. I uncovered in a city audit from a decade ago, the Bureau must begin addressing aging infrastructure to prevent more trouble like this. I just got off the phone with the Portland Water Bureau representative who tells me they replace an average of four to five miles of pipeline a year. But the audit finding reveals replacements of aging water mains has slowed in recent years, while at the same time the backlog of needed repairs has grown. In the meantime, crews are left cleaning up the mess of deferred maintenance, called out at all hours of the day and night to repair broken water mains about 200 times a year. Still, most don't create this much mess. Yes, the average has been about four inch diameter pipes, which are something that our crews can repair quickly. Crews have been out here since about four this morning. Today there was another 12 inch main that busted just a couple blocks away. Crews just told me there's three repairs going on right now in this city. We're live in Southeast Portland. Carla Castano, Quintix News. Carla